Oi, oi, hi everyone, I'm Will from Wheels Electrical Services, also known as the Groove Rider of the Electrical World, just doing bits. In tonight's episode, what I want to do, actually before I get started, and I keep forgetting, if you could do us a massive favour, if you could like, subscribe and turn the notification bell on, it helps the channel grow. Right, what happened was, I got home one day last week and I found this little parcel on the uh, doorstep, Whisker sent me, uh, they've remade one of their... Uh, one of their products and it's actually one of the main things I use from them. We do use quite a lot of stuff from uh, Whisker. I've, I've massively rate all their products, all their adaptable boxes. I did actually uh, review one of their round ones. I'll put a link above, you know, just in case you want to have a look at it and all that. And what it was, is uh, the tail glands they've actually brought out new ones these these are the old ones these ones i always use these ones because they always had the 32 mil reducer and where we use a lot of the hager consumer units we do use a lot of hager a lot of wilex but especially hager they come in two different types some come with round knockouts and some come with uh, the oblong knockouts they all come with all the various different accessories and one day i'll probably bore you to tears with that but we use a lot of the round ones and all, all, usually there's a 32 mil knockout always where we where strategically placed within the consumer unit for it for it to go in there. And the only problem is with that is that it's absolutely huge. And we always I always used to have to carry around these 250 uh, Clipex. Uh, to do it up and all that is not that it's a massive problem i have got adjustables and all that that does it but it, it can see how huge it is it, you know it's pretty big it fills my hand up and all that and uh, what they did is that they sent me this and this is their the redesign i'll put these towels in there because i've been having a little play and i thought you know it's no point just showing you it like that you might as well see it it's designed for the 25 i think maximum is 16 20 with 25 mil towels to tell the truth, I don't really know the difference between, I think that's the same there. It looks identical, the actual grommet inside. The grommets inside is to keep to the IP rating 68. Uh, they're both that as well. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's definitely gonna make it a lot neater. What I'll do is I'll probably put a couple of images on the screen of a couple of uh, boards, what we've done. Sometimes if you run an armored or if it's fed from an armored, we'd put in an adaptable box. Like uh, we had an office block over in Hartford where we'd done an office block. We, we had uh, the isolator by the tails, you know, which I think I've got an example of a photo I put of an isolator that was, you know, not all the images are from the same property, so they won't really make sense to you. But yeah, one of the good things we do is like we take it into adaptable box, put a handy block, and then we come out to two consume units, you know, stuff like that. It's like, it's beautiful, but I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing for it because it is so much nicer. Because with this, when you put the 100 amp isolators, where it's so big, it's so close to the wall and all that. But this one, it looks it, like, obviously it's got a 32 mil uh, knockout, like the, the hole there, it can, you know. I'll give you a close up of what it looks like and all that, I'll give you a little tour of it. But yeah, and they fit absolutely really well. I was, I was quite surprised that for some reason I did, you know, I did actually think to myself a couple of times, is like, why haven't they done the 32 version where they've got the reducer? Because they obviously knew it was about. So, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Like, I'll show you some close-ups because the grommet sizes are the whole, so that must be max 25 to 16. So they're probably even saving themselves some money on the manufacturing as well, aren't they? But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. And with this one as well, is that you can use the uh, the smaller grips as well, where, where I've got the... Uh, See how, you know, how easy they go in. Like I've got the, um, the Knipex. Obviously, you want to use the flat jaw ones, you know, uh, the 180s in there. I think the maximum, they go up to 40. So, yeah, and that that is probably on the maximum, that is. And that's absolutely perfect because I keep them in my top. My, right, I'll say my hand tools. These are obviously in my van, but I keep these in my hand tools. And they're absolutely beautiful. And uh, fair play to Whisker for... Uh, you know, making an improvement, you know, because we use them all the time, you know what I mean? I think they rate retail anywhere from five to 10, I don't really know, I've, you know, we, we just, or, you know, every consumer unit we always buy, we always buy the flexi tails, we buy the consumer units and all that, but yeah, it's an absolute touch, so nice one, cheers for that. Right, it's only a short little episode, I hope you like it, I hope you got something out of it, and don't forget, if you're gonna be anything this week, then be electric up the old blues, you know.